Did you know that 85% of the jobs that will exist in 2030 haven't been invented yet? In today's rapidly changing technological landscape, how can leaders prepare for a future they can't even imagine? I'm Glenn Daniels, and in this video, we're going to explore how leaders can not just survive, but thrive in the age of technological disruption. Buckle up, because the future is now. Today, we're diving into the wild world of leadership in our tech-driven era. Whether you're a seasoned CEO or an aspiring team lead, this video is your GPS for navigating the complex digital landscape. Remember when we thought having a BlackBerry made us tech-savvy? Yeah, leadership in the digital age is a bit more complicated than that. Let's start with our tech term of the day, digital disruption. It's not just a buzzword. It's the reality reshaping our world faster than you can say artificial intelligence. Digital disruption refers to the change that occurs when new digital technologies and business models affect the value proposition of existing goods and services. Think about how Netflix disrupted Blockbuster or how Uber shook up the taxi industry. These aren't just changes, they're revolutions. Speaking of revolutions, let's look at the game changers. One. Artificial intelligence and machine learning. These are the brains of our digital revolution. From Netflix predicting your next binge watch to AI diagnosing diseases, it's everywhere. Let's take a real world example, IBM's Watson for Oncology. This AI system is helping doctors make more informed decisions about cancer treatments. It analyzes a patient's medical records current medical research, and clinical trials to recommend personalized treatment options. In a study at the University of North Carolina School of Medicine, Watson for Oncology agreed with the tumor board in 99% of breast cancer treatment decisions. That's not just impressive, it's life-changing. 2. Internet of Things AO Imagine a world where everything is connected. Well, pinch yourself, because it's here. The city of Barcelona is a prime example of IoT in action. They've implemented smart parking systems that guide drivers to available parking spaces, reducing traffic and emissions. They've also got smart streetlights that adjust their brightness based on pedestrian presence, saving energy and money. The result? Barcelona saves about $37 million annually on water costs alone, thanks to IoT-enabled smart meters and irrigation systems. 3. Cloud Computing It's not just for storing your vacation photos anymore. It's enabling businesses to scale faster than ever. Take Airbnb for instance. They use Amazon Web Services OS to handle their massive data needs. This allows them to quickly scale up during peak travel seasons and scale down during quieter periods, saving costs and ensuring smooth operations. Without cloud computing, Airbnb might never have grown from a small startup to the global hospitality giant it is today. 4. Blockchain It's like a digital trust fall, revolutionizing security and transparency. While most people associate blockchain with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, its applications go far beyond that. For example, Walmart is using blockchain to improve food safety. They can now trace the origin of sliced mangoes in seconds rather than days. In the event of a foodborne illness outbreak, this speed could save lives. Another interesting application is in the music industry. Musicoin uses blockchain to ensure artists are paid fairly and immediately when their songs are played. Now, pause the video and jot down. What's the biggest tech challenge your organization is facing right now? Got it. Great. We'll circle back to this later. So, what does this mean for our intrepid leaders? Let me introduce you to Sarah, a fictional CEO navigating this digital maze. Sarah knows that being tech savvy isn't just cool anymore, it's survival. But here's the kicker. It's not easy. Remember when General Electric tried to go digital? They faced more hurdles than an Olympic track star. G's Digital Transformation Initiative, launched in 2011, aimed to position the company as a digital industrial leader. They invested billions in their Predix software platform and aimed to be a top 10 software company by 2020. 
However, the transformation faced numerous challenges, including cultural resistance, difficulty in integrating digital capabilities with traditional industrial processes and financial pressures. By 2018, G had to scale back its digital ambitions significantly. The lesson? Clear communication, realistic goals, and ongoing support are key. Let's hear from a real tech leader. Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, says, Our industry does not respect tradition, it only respects innovation. Ouch, but true. Under Nadella's leadership, Microsoft has transformed from a company focused on Windows and Office to a cloud-first, AI-first company. They've embraced open-source software, something unthinkable in the Steve Ballmer era. This shift in strategy has paid off big time. Microsoft's market value has more than quadrupled since Nadella took over in 2014. So, how can Sarah and leaders like her thrive? Here's your leadership survival kit. 1. Develop a digital mindset. Channel your inner Google. Their 20% time policy led to Gmail and Google Maps. What could your team create with some innovation time? Take into it, for example. They have a Design for Delight program that encourages employees to come up with innovative solutions to customer problems. This program led to the development of SnapTax, a mobile app that allows users to file their taxes by simply taking a photo of their W-2 form. 2. Create a tech-friendly culture. Be like at NT. They're reskilling their workforce faster than you can say 5G. At NT's Future Ready initiative is a $1 billion web-based, multi-year effort to retrain nearly half of its 250,000 employees. The program includes online courses in data science, cybersecurity, and other tech fields. This proactive approach has helped at NT adapt to the rapidly changing telecom landscape without massive layoffs. Three. Implement agile methodologies. Think Spotify. Their squad system isn't just for organizing playlists. Spotify's organizational structure is designed for agility. They organize their workforce into squads like scrum teams, tribes collections of squads, chapters people with similar skills, and guilds communities of interest. This structure allows for rapid innovation and quick pivots when needed. For instance, when they decided to expand into podcast content, they were able to quickly form new squads focused on this area without disrupting their existing music streaming operations. Leadership Challenge This week, set aside 30 minutes for your team to brainstorm wild tech ideas. Who knows? You might stumble upon the next big thing. Remember, post-it notes were invented during 3M's 15% time their version of Google's 20% time. Now, let's zoom in on AI. It's not just automating tasks. It's transforming entire business models. It's like having a super smart intern who never sleeps. JP Morgan Chase uses AI to review legal documents. It's like having an army of lawyers, minus the billable hours. Their coin contract intelligence program can review commercial loan agreements in seconds, a task that used to take 360,000 hours of work by lawyers and loan officers annually. This not only saves time and money, but also reduces errors in the review process. Amazon's AI recommends products. It's basically a mind reader for your shopping habits. Their recommendation engine is responsible for 35% of the company's revenue. By analyzing your browsing history, past purchases, and items in your cart, Amazon's AI can predict what you're likely to buy next with uncanny accuracy. Starbucks is using AI to personalize its marketing. Their digital flywheel program uses AI to analyze data from loyalty cards and mobile apps to create personalized marketing messages and product recommendations. This has led to significant increases in customer spending and loyalty. But wait, it's not all roses and algorithms. AI raises some tricky questions. Bias in decision making, data privacy, these are the leadership puzzles of our time. Tech term of the day, ethical AI. Remember it, because it's going to be crucial for leaders like Sarah. 
Ethical AI refers to the development and use of artificial intelligence that aligns with human values and ethical principles. It's about ensuring AI systems are fair, transparent, and accountable. A real-world example of the importance of ethical AI is the controversy surrounding facial recognition technology. In 2018, Amazon faced backlash when it was revealed that they were selling their facial recognition software recognition to law enforcement agencies. Civil rights groups raised concerns about potential misuse and bias, particularly against minorities. As a result, Amazon placed a one-year moratorium on police use of recognition in 2020, highlighting the need for careful consideration of the ethical implications of AI technologies. All right, let's equip Sarah and you with some concrete strategies. One, conduct regular technology audits. It's like a health checkup for your tech. Deloitte's annual tech trends report is a great example of this practice at a macro level. They analyze emerging technologies and their potential impact on businesses. At a company level, regular tech audits can help identify outdated systems, security vulnerabilities, and opportunities for digital transformation. Two, develop a clear digital transformation strategy. Don't just adopt tech because it's shiny. Have a plan. Take Disney's digital transformation journey. When Bob Iger became CEO in 2005, he recognized the need to embrace technology. He led Disney's acquisitions of Pixar, Marvel, and Lucasfilm, which not only brought invaluable IP, but also technological expertise. This culminated in the launch of Disney Plus in 2019, positioning Disney as a major player in the streaming wars. Three, invest in employee training. Salesforce's Trailhead platform is like a gym for your team's tech muscles. It's a free online learning platform that teaches not just Salesforce skills, but also broader tech concepts. Companies like JetBlue have used Trailhead to upskill their employees, resulting in faster problem resolution and improved customer satisfaction. Four, partner with tech experts. Don't go it alone. Even Tony Stark had Jarvis, Many companies are forming strategic partnerships to enhance their tech capabilities. For example, Walmart has partnered with Microsoft and Google to accelerate its digital transformation. These partnerships have helped Walmart improve its e-commerce capabilities, implement AI in various operations, and compete more effectively with Amazon. Let's look at some more real-world tech leadership wins. Goldman Sachs used AI to cut fraud by 50%. That's a lot of zeros saved. They developed an AI system that analyzes transaction data to identify potentially fraudulent activities. This not only saves money, but also enhances customer trust and security. Birchbox, a small e-commerce startup, used cloud computing to boost sales by 30%. David can totally take on Goliath in the cloud. By leveraging cloud services, Birchbox was able to scale its operations quickly, handle traffic spikes during peak shopping periods, and implement sophisticated data analytics to personalize customer experiences. Khan Academy reached 20% more students. That's a lot of aha moments. By leveraging AI and data analytics, Khan Academy personalized learning paths for students, identifying areas where they needed more practice and adapting content delivery accordingly. This tech-driven approach to education has made quality learning accessible to millions worldwide. Domino's Pizza transformed itself into a tech company that happens to sell pizza. They invested heavily in digital ordering technologies, including a mobile app, chatbots, and even ordering through smart TVs and Twitter. As a result, digital sales now account for more than 65% of their total sales, and their stock price has outperformed tech giants like Amazon and Google over the past decade. Now, let's hop into our time machine. Quantum computing. 5G extended reality. They're not just for sci-fi anymore. They're the next wave of our digital tsunami. Quantum computing. While still in its early stages, quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize industries like finance, healthcare, and cybersecurity. 
For example, Volkswagen has been experimenting with quantum computing to optimize traffic flow and improve battery chemistry for electric vehicles. 5G the fifth generation of cellular network technology promises faster speeds, lower latency, and the ability to connect many more devices. This will enable new applications in areas like autonomous vehicles, remote surgery, and smart cities. For instance, the city of Helsinki is using 5G to implement real-time air quality monitoring, helping to reduce pollution and improve public health. Extended Reality XR this umbrella term covers virtual reality VR, augmented reality R, and mixed reality Mr. While consumer applications like gaming are well known, XR is also finding use in business contexts. Walmart uses VR for employee training, allowing workers to experience scenarios like Black Friday rushes in a safe, controlled environment. To ride this wave, leaders need to be like surfers, always ready to adapt, balance, and occasionally wipe out. But hey, that's where the best stories come from, right? Remember, folks, adapting to tech change isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Actually, it's more like a never-ending game of digital leapfrog. But with the right mindset and strategies, you can lead your team to victory. Now, remember that tech challenge you wrote down earlier? Drop it in the comments. Let's problem solve together. Maybe your challenge is similar to what Coca-Cola faced when they decided to use AI to create new flavors. They used an algorithm to analyze thousands of flavor combinations and consumer preferences leading to the creation of Cherry Sprite. Or perhaps your grappling with cybersecurity issues like Target was when they experienced a massive data breach in 2013. They responded by overhauling their security measures and bringing in top tech talent to lead their cybersecurity efforts. And hey, if you enjoyed this digital deep dive, smash that like button and subscribe for more Tech Lead Insights. Next time, we're tackling how to foster a culture of innovation, featuring an exclusive interview with a CEO who turned their struggling company into a tech powerhouse. We'll be looking at companies like Adobe, which successfully transitioned from selling box software to a cloud-based subscription model, completely reinventing their business in the process. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Until then, keep innovating, keep adapting, and remember in the tech world, the only constant is change. Whether you're leading a startup or a Fortune 500 company, embracing technology and fostering a culture of continuous learning is key to success in our digital age. This is Glenn Daniels, signing off.